Uh, this is Kristen with Kentucky Reptile Zoo, and I am here with a timber rattlesnake. This is uh, Crotalus horridus. And timber rattlesnakes are the rattlesnake that is native uh, throughout most of Kentucky. We do have one other rattlesnake that's found in some uh, small portions of southwest Kentucky, which is the pygmy rattlesnake. But throughout most of the state, the rattlesnake that we have is this timber rattlesnake. And uh, the reason for this video today is I know that there is a lot of confusion out there where people sometimes think that we have uh, eastern diamondback rattlesnakes native to Kentucky, uh, when in fact we do not. So I'm going to show you both a timber rattlesnake and an eastern diamondback uh, here in a couple of minutes so you can see both of them and just talk a little tiny bit about them and where they're from. So uh, first off, timber rattlesnakes can be found throughout most of Kentucky, but they do tend to be absent in the bluegrass region and then also in some sections of western Kentucky. Their range does go further west than Kentucky uh, within the United States, but it's kind of patchy uh, and kind of sparse uh, in the western uh, reaches of their range. Uh, timber rattlesnakes historically are found throughout most of the eastern half of the United States, but in many states these are an endangered species and they are protected uh, by law in many places, and therefore their distribution is also much less than it used to be. Here in Kentucky we still have reasonably solid populations in many parts of the state, uh, so these can be seen in, in many uh, natural areas. They especially like uh, wooded uh, talus slopes is kind of what they're known for, where there's lots of rocky outcroppings. To identify a timber rattlesnake, uh, obviously the rattle is distinctive, but if you can't see the rattle or the rattle perhaps is broken off, I think the most distinctive characteristics they have are the markings on their back. And I'll just set him down here or her down so you can kind of see that. Timber rattlesnakes are known for the chevron markings on their back. So that's these sort of V-shaped markings. This snakes are a little bit irregular. You can see this one's kind of only half of one here. Uh, and then towards the tail, they tend to get more of a stripey type appearance as opposed to that V shape. But she has a couple pretty nice Vs up in the upper part of their body. Now there's her rattle going. In some places, these snakes also have the colloquial name uh, velvet tail. And that's because their tail tends to be black and it has that sort of soft appearance. And that appearance is due to the keels on the scale, which makes them look a little bit soft. They actually feel a little bit soft too, in my opinion. They're not really rough snakes. Now the background color of a timber rattlesnake can be kind of yellowish like this one is. It can be much more yellow than this one is. It can also be kind of gray where this one is yellow. It can be kind of tan or brown. Uh, and then they also have a phase that's almost completely black where you can just barely see the markings. They do tend to have this dorsal stripe that can be more or less prominent depending on the individual. And sometimes the stripe can be a kind of pinkish or reddish color. Sometimes it can be kind of brown like this one is and, and also some variations in between that. You can hear that nice rattling sound. And she's just a little bit worried because we've plopped her down here out in the open and we're moving around. Uh, and so she's just letting us know that she's there and doesn't want to be stepped upon and really would like to be left alone. Go ahead. All right, so this one is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake and the scientific name for these is Crotalus adamantius or some people say adamantius, whichever you prefer. And uh, diamondbacks get their name because of the diamond shape pattern on their back, which I think on this guy you can see pretty well. It's not always a perfect diamond shape. Sometimes it's more of like a trapezoid, I think is kind of what this one is like. Uh, but definitely not the chevron or V-shaped markings that the timber rattlesnake has. Uh, you can also see these guys have these white stripes on their face, uh, which is typical of diamondbacks. Of course, he doesn't want to look at the camera right now. <laughs> and then also, uh, as Timber rattlesnakes pattern changes from the front to the back. They tend to be darker towards the back and have a black tail. Whereas Eastern Diamondbacks can get lighter like this one does, or sometimes stay similar along the length of their entire body, but they typically don't turn completely black uh, at the tail. 
Now, Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes do not live in the wild in Kentucky. These are native to coastal areas of the southeastern U.S. So they are found in coastal uh, Carolinas, Georgia, throughout most of Florida, and then they go all the way across to the very little tip of Louisiana, kind of like the toe tip of Louisiana. And that's where they exist in the United States. So you are not going to find them up here in Kentucky. There's like an entire state buffer zone uh, between where they exist naturally and our state. So um, I think just the you know, kind of common names tends to confuse people sometimes or they hear about Eastern Diamondbacks and don't realize that the timber rattlesnake is a different species. Uh, and that's where the confusion comes from. But their habits and their lifestyle are actually quite different from each other. The type of habitat that the timber rattlesnake uses uh, on the, the mountainous areas and the rocky slopes is completely different than what the Eastern Diamondback uses. Eastern Diamondbacks like coastal flatlands, things like palmetto forests, uh, secondary dunes and so they're not in anywhere near the same sort of habitat and they really could not survive up here in Kentucky because they wouldn't know how to make it through the winters that we have here. They don't understand how to go down into the deep burrows that exist uh, in the higher elevations here which is what the timber rattlesnake does. Lastly, here are the two snakes uh, sort of next to each other. The eastern was not particularly cooperative here, but uh, the timber rattlesnake is on the left of your screen and the eastern diamondback is the one uh, kind of coming in on the right and being kind of wiggly. Just to give you an idea of the differences in their patterns kind of side by side. Eastern diamondback really just wanted to run away from me here, so <laughs> was not perfect, but hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of assistance in identifying the two and help clears up some misconceptions. Thanks. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day.